And Kevin, he said there about, you know, in the second half, he felt that his team lost rhythm, lost direction. Uh, would that worry you if you were a Liverpool fan? Like, why did that um, happen? No, it's just understandable. They were tuned up, and it seemed reasonably easy in the first half. I think they just took their foot off the gas. You know, it's a long season. You would want them to keep going, keep going, make it, make it so the game is over, the, the tie is over. But um, it is understandable. Listen, the, you can't be at it 90 minutes every yeah. game all the time. Um, it's... It's a psychological thing, it's the thing in your head. When, when the thing is going easy and you're creating chances, you just think it's going to happen and happen all game. Um, it wasn't the case in the second half. And again, they're in, against a good team in, in Porto. Not against you know, a Mickey Mouse club here. It's a team who, who won five and drew one of their group. It's not like they're up against someone they should, they should be beaten four or five nil. So, listen, two nil, they should be happy. Yeah, did it, uh, Richie, kind of sum up the mood of, at Anfield tonight as well? Jim Begland beforehand, and even in the commentary, kind of said, you know, he... He's heard the Liverpool fans in more, you know, higher voice, more intense singing of you'll never walk alone, that kind of thing that it was, at times it was quiet enough. It was just like, OK, we got this. This is fine. 2-0 is OK. Yeah, they were Jim's observations yeah. pre-match. I think he compared it to the City game last year and said there wasn't that intensity, the same kind of atmosphere, um, which is maybe understandable given the, the rivalry with City, but... I think on the pitch, I think Klopp's assessment there was pretty spot on. I think they were far more impressive in the first half. Um, and I wouldn't be overly concerned, like your question a moment ago, that they weren't you know, hitting fifth gear for 100% of the match you know, for the whole hour and a half. It's, it's not how football works. They're 2-0 up in a, in going into the second leg of a quarter-final. It's a very, very strong position. Um, and I think it's because they've set really high standards entertainment-wise as well. Um, and the front three in particular, when they click, they're, like, they're a joy to watch. That wasn't the case tonight, so I think that's why maybe people start to look to, to criticise them a little bit, but mm. job well done. And I suppose, Liam, you could look to perhaps, you know, when does the Chelsea game start to kick into their minds as well, like he took off some big names towards the end of the match. Like That's a huge game for them in a Premier League context now on Sunday. Yeah, they must be feeling the, the, the physical pressure of, of, of trying to win the, the Premiership and, uh, and the Champions League. Um, I'd give a little bit more credit to uh, to Porto. Mm. I think he said that we weren't attacking the same way down the right hand side, or we weren't hitting balls in behind. I think the manager Conceição for Porto sorted things out at halftime, and they made it much more difficult for Liverpool. Mm. Okay.